My heart is a what with my thoughts You ever connect the dots and the picture still doesn't make sense? Yes, that's life, isn't it? Sometimes even when we connect the dots, the picture we end up with doesn't make any sense. I'm Spencer Hughes. Welcome to Hughes from the Heart, the Spencer Hughes Positivity Podcast. I'm in a generous mood, so here's a free one. Here's a free podcast for you. If you like what you hear, if you feel that maybe you feel a little bit better juju and better vibes at the end of the podcast than when you started it, if it gives you a little bit of renewed hope in yourself, your fellow human beings, humanity, the world, the universe, then maybe consider joining Hughes from the Heart. This is a story, uh, I, very few podcasts I do am I just kind of reading off of a story. I don't like doing that, but this one is a little different, and I want to share with all of you. I want to share with all of you because, man, it put a tear in my eye, the good kind of tear, and maybe it'll have the same effect on you, maybe it'll have no effect at all, I don't know, we're all different. We're all different, as my old friend and colleague, the late great Gene Burns used to say, that's why they invented chocolate and vanilla. That's why we have chocolate and vanilla and strawberry and all the other wonderful flavors. We're all different. This one has to do with Uber, and I know you don't usually hear me speaking very highly of uh, Uber. (laughs) Uber has gotten better over the years from what I understand. I used to drive for Lyft, which was a competitor. To this day, they're still competitors, Uber and Lyft, and their ride shares. For those of you who don't understand, let me just set this up real quick or else the podcast might not make as much sense. So ride sharing is basically in this wonderful gig economy of ours where people can make money on the side and do different things, kind of side hustles, if you will. We have uh, this concept of ride sharing where you actually use your own car. You don't have to uh, have a taxi license or anything like that. You don't have to have a medallion. You don't have to have any special credentials. Just a clean driving record and insurance and a safe car. And You, too, could be picking up strangers in your car and doing everything your parents told you not to do, right? They told you not to pick up strangers. And you could do it as a passenger or you can um, be a driver. You could be both. Just be safe out there. There's been a lot of uh, incidents in the last year or two of a lot of, a lot of bad situations. It's a tricky world out there, and there's some bad situations, so just be careful. Be vigilant. Be safe. Use your common sense, and if this isn't for you, then it isn't for you. But this podcast isn't about the safety of Uber and the integrity of ride-sharing. It's about one of those kind of random encounters that we often experience during the course of a busy day, and sometimes they change us for the better. I don't know if it's guardian angels looking after us. I don't know if it's just... I do know one thing. I do not believe in coincidences. I do not believe in coincidences. Aaron is the creator of the blog Mama Bear Bliss. You can find it at mamabearbliss.com. And she shared this story about an Uber driver that she met, Palm Springs, California. I found this on sunnyskies.com, but you could also find it elsewhere on the internet. And it's a very moving story. From the minute I saw the picture of her with an older gentleman posing for a selfie, I knew that there would be kind of a tears welling up in my eyes. I just felt that this was going to be one of those sentimental stories that we sometimes have on the podcast. Oh, by the way, those of you new, welcome. And those of you who are regulars, you know this whole shtick. Right, the whole shtick of trying to find, and it's not really shtick. I say that with with tongue firmly in cheek. Shtick implies like a oh, magician shtick or the comedian shtick. It has kind of negative connotation. So I say it with love in my heart and tongue firmly in cheek. But a lot of you know that one of the uh, running motifs on this podcast: good people doing good things in a good world. It's one of the common denominators of my podcast. Use from the heart. Featuring good people doing good things in a good world. 
So I'm going to read to you from Erin of MamaBearBliss.com her post writing about this Uber driver. And we'll find out in a moment why she's posing with this older gentleman in a selfie, both of them smiling. Here's what she writes. This is John. John was my Uber driver on my way to the airport yesterday in Palm Springs, California. I asked him if I could sit in the front seat. He wasn't expecting it. Of course. As we drove, he asked why I was traveling. I said, for work. Then he asked if I was about 28. I said, about 27. The next thing he said filled my eyes with tears. I brushed them away so he couldn't see. Three years ago, John's daughter passed away unexpectedly at age 29. She left behind a four-year-old son. He told me that I reminded him of her. We shared the same kind heart, and that's why he asked. He couldn't resuscitate her. He tried to breathe life into his daughter's lifeless body, but he found her far too late. John was holding his daughter's son in his arms when his grandson's daddy passed away. I wish I could have done more. Why couldn't I bring her back to life? Why didn't I know her husband was silently suffering? How come I didn't dig further to find out how I could help? I wish I would have done more, and now it's all too late. We talk like we'd known each other our whole lives on our 25-minute drive to the airport. As we arrived, I looked over at him, tears rolling down his cheeks. My heart melted into my stomach. He looked over at me with uncontrollable tears and said, I'm so sorry for all of this. I have never met someone so kind-hearted, so friendly, and so non-judgmental. I feel like I lifted so many years of feelings off my chest to someone I didn't even know, but was willing to listen. Tell me I was going to be okay. Someone to console with me. I wish I could hug you, but I know so many people don't like hugs, so I just want to tell you thank you. He patted my forearm and said, Please never let the world make you hard. Don't ever let anyone bring you down. Keep smiling that warm-hearted smile. Keep being kind to strangers, because you've shown me the kindness a stranger can give, and I wish I could express how much it has meant to me in just 25 minutes. I smiled and stepped out of the car to get my luggage, because that's all I could do without letting all of my tears pour out right then and there into his arms. He took out my luggage for me and turned to me, wiping his tears. I looked at him, not able to hold back the emotions any longer, and said, I love hugs. I will happily take a hug, John. So we hugged right there in front of the airport, people quickly passing by, rolling their luggage in a hurry every hour of the day. He squeezed my shoulder. Take care of yourself, Aaron. You never know what hardships people have endured especially behind a smiling face like I've masked myself behind for so long. Thank you, sweet girl. I stepped to the curb with my luggage, watched him open his door, and couldn't shake the feeling. I yelled, John! He turned swiftly with a smile on his face. Yes? Um, I uh, want to... Can I take a picture with you? I want to show my family, my husband, the world, the kind human I met in you today. Tears filled his eyes again. Of course, sweetie, that would mean so much to me. So we snapped this picture, and it's the picture that's the preview for this podcast, by the way. And I will cash it in my bank of memories forever. Be a kind human. Always, writes Aaron. Show compassion. Have a listening ear. Ask someone about their day. Smile at strangers. Say hi in the grocery store. Show small acts of kindness throughout your life. Start up a conversation with your Uber driver. It may mean more to them and help them more than you could ever imagine. And that, thanks to Aaron from MamaBearBliss.com for sharing that. That's your Hughes from the heart today. I'm Spencer Hughes, and I hope this gave you a little bit of renewed hope in mankind. I know in this world where the mainstream media wants to shove death, disease, and destruction down your throat, just watch the evening news sometime. And if you're a regular, you know it well. And maybe it's just dripped down in you to the point where you didn't even realize it all boils down to death, disease, and destruction. Just about every story is about death, disease, and destruction. Just not on my podcast, not on my watch. I try to give you a respite from all that baloney. And I try to make it a safe place for you to just hang out 
and to renew your faith in this beautiful world of ours. Thanks, Aaron, for helping me do that today. On Hughes from the Heart, I'm Spencer Hughes. If you uh, find this podcast of value, I hope you will sign up for it today. You can get in for three pennies a day. I often joke you could find that just walking around your average gas station or supermarket. You could find three pennies on the ground. So I hope you will take those three pennies and invest it in this podcast because I am trying to do as much good as I can, spreading good cheer and harmony, compassion and love and kindness to as many people as I can out there, yourself included. So thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. Thanks for this chunk of your time. I know you could have been doing any number of things other than listening to this podcast, but you chose to listen to this, and I'm eternally eternally grateful for that. I really am. Take care, and we will talk again soon, I hope. Hughes from the heart. Patreon.com slash Spencer Hughes. And if you're on Patreon, all you have to do is click Become a Patron if you so choose. Thanks a lot.